Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you everyone i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to niebs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift dear students today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 4 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 2 plants and animals Let's see today's topic from here. Our today's topic is chapter 2, Plants and Animals. Today we will discuss uh, this chapter. And this is your science book. And this is chapter 2 is here. Page number 11. Today we will discuss from page number 11 to page number 16. So dear students, let's study. You can see here is the um, chapter, chapter 2, Plants and Animals. Plants differ from animals in many aspects. Making food. Here's the point making food. Plants can make their own food by themselves. Animals cannot make their own food and are depend on plants and other animals for food. You can see here is a picture. Picture of plants. Plants make food by themselves they receive sunlight they make their food by themselves by pre presence of sunlight and they take uh, nutrition or water from soil and they take carbon dioxide and they make their food by themselves and here is you can see here is a picture animals depend on plants and other animals for food now body parts plants have body parts such as roots stems and leaves animals have body parts such as limbs fins or wings some have fur or some have scales or feather most of the animals also have eyes ears mouth and nose to help them live now movement plants generally are rooted in one place and do not move from place to place on their own most of animals have the ability to move freely by using limbs wings or fins you can see here is animals animals can move freely and you can see here is a picture plants are rooted in soil they can't move so next page here is page number 15 living things in their environment plants in the environment plants grow in many places some plants grow on soil and some grow in or on water some plants grow both on soil and in water now habitats of plants some plants like mango, berry, jackfruit, etc. grow in bright sunny places. We can find some plants like mosses and ferns in shady and moist places. Water hyacinths and water lily are found on and inside water. Colmi, helencha, etc. grow both in water and on soil. You can see here is a uh, tree, mango tree in a sunny place. And this is water hyacinth in the water. They are aquatic plants. And this is mosses on the wall. And this is kalmi. And this is Shundarban picture. And this is new metaphor. Some plants grow in saline soil. Shundarban is such kind of saline soil environment in Bangladesh. The plants grow in this environment are different from other regions. These plants have new metaphor. 
this is new matter for for breathing this is one kind of roots and this is modified roots these plants have new matter for for breathing sundari goran kaura are the example of such kind of plants there are some plants which grow on other big trees such as shornalata rasna etc now here is the next page page number 16 habitat of animal different animals live in different habitats some animals such as rats rabbits and porcupine etc live in burrows besides some animals such as beetles ants and earthworm etc live in the soil you can see this is a rabbit rabbit lives in a burrows and uh, here is another animal they they are habitats animals like jackal mongoose live in bushes or woods birds and squirrel make their nest in trees or live in trees holes some insects such as butterflies and bees also use tree for their habitat we find fish and shrimps in water frog turtle and crocodile can live both on land and in water students i have finished our today's topics today i will not give you any sw so dear students i hope you have understood today's topic keep practice it at home and Uh, stay home and we'll see you again in our next class